Right now is prime season for getting everything together for your tax returns. And for many of us, that means digging through mountains of paper. But you could be clinging onto paperwork that has just taken up space. So we're working on some skills to declutter our homes with our expert, our friend Lisa Woodruff, CEO of Organize 365. This is It's good to see you. This looks like some of my house right here on this table, Lisa. I think we, I mean, I think we all have papers where like, I'll take care of that later, or I might need this, but then you really don't. So right. just go through kind of what these different piles are before we start. Okay, so we're, we have the table divided in half. Okay. This is reference paper. All right. This is active paper. Okay, very good. So let's start with the file cabinet. You say nobody needs a file cabinet. I can't imagine living without my file cabinet. So, so let's talk about strategies to get rid of it. You put in their bills, you put your tax receipts, you put your medical forms. What yeah. should we do with all that stuff instead? So if it's actionable, like you need to use it for your taxes this mm -hmm. year, it shouldn't be in a file cabinet yet. That's why it's on your kitchen counter. Okay. It goes in the file cabinet, you never reference it. Mm. Like you never do. But somebody has to go through that entire file cabinet when you pass away. Oh, right. So you're creating really a lot of work for our future. Okay. So I like to use four binders. Mm -hmm. It will house the 15% of your file cabinet you need to keep. Okay. And in Ohio, it's not as big of a deal, but in Florida, California, places where you need to evacuate, you cannot evacuate a file cabinet. Oh, right. Okay, so let's let's hold these up one by one. First you have, sorry, the camera's gonna have to follow me. First you have household operations. Yep, that's gonna right? run everything for running your house, like your pets, your vacations, your cleaning. Okay, and then next you have? Household reference, that's when you sell your house, everything you would give to a new homeowner. Oh, okay, so like the garage door code, yes. warranties yep. that are gonna be good for the house, things like that, okay. Finance binder, what do you put in there? Everything you need to settle your estate or to handle your long-term finances, like your 401k, your life insurance, all those things. Okay, and then one more, your medical binder. I'm assuming that's your receipts for doctor visits and things like that. Yeah, anything anyone would need if they were gonna be your power of healthcare, okay. most of that's actually in your head. It's not in a file cabinet, so you need to fill out the workbook in there for oh, someone wow. to be able to take care of you. Like, if your mom falls, do you know what you need to do to take care of her? If you go unconscious, do your loved ones know what they need to do to take care of you. Okay, now here's a question. Where do you put these binders? I would put them in my file cabinet. <laughs> I put them in my kitchen. <laughs> you put them in your I kitchen. Do. I just put them in my kitchen. You have cabinet. a spot in your kitchen for this stuff. I'm okay. not a big cook. Okay. Let's take it. All right. So now here in front, you've got, now this looks, this does look like my kitchen counter. Coupons that I know I'm going to use. Maybe I need to send a birthday card. Here's a catalog I want to look at later yep. when I'm watching TV. What yep. should you do with all this stuff? So first of all, we don't move it off our kitchen counter because we're afraid that we're going to forget to do it. Right. So I want you to have something beautiful to put it in. Mm -hmm. We have a Sunday basket, whatever you want. Sunday something basket, to put it. okay. The key is you have to go through it every week. Like right. You can't just put it magically somewhere. So you have to designate a day, whether it's Sunday or whatever day you like, yep. where you've thrown things in that basket and then on Sunday or Wednesday, you're going to go through yep. and do what? You're going to do all the actionables, everything you could do mm -hmm. this week, do it. Everything that can wait, must wait, because you're not going to get through it all. Right. You're never going to not have this pile. <laughs> like, we think that <laughs> sometime true. we're going to give us enough time, we'll get rid of the pile, and then our counter will stay clear. Yeah. No. It's not. This is all just going to keep coming back. Okay. Now, for me, it's on my desk in my office. But okay. Now, you have another pile here, and this is intriguing to me. What are all these little notes here so that here's you've got? So the thing, and we're talking about for women, especially, we have this mental load. Invisible work, invisible I call work. it. Invisible work. This is making visible your invisible work. So okay. I literally write down every single thing I need to do. Okay. And then I drop it in this basket. If it can wait till Sunday, it must wait till Sunday. Okay. And then I process through my brain on Sunday. So you have everything like buy stamps. You got to get that. Pick up the prescriptions this week paint the bathroom well I mean it's on my and mind eventually you want to get okay but here's the great thing then you put them in these slush pockets for your modeling and okay. when you do have a week at home you're like okay now's when I'm gonna paint the bathroom but it's on my mind oh okay I good do it. well Lisa has tools on the organized 365 website you can get the Sunday basket you can can, can you get the binders there you can too? get the binders you can try you can um, take a free class a Sunday basket free yep yeah yep Lisa thank you thank that you. was helpful I don't know if I can get rid of my file cabinet, <laughs> but I will get rid of some stuff in there for sure.